Ever since the E3 trailer for Breath of the Wild debuted, talk ran on and on about the iconic green tunic seemingly being left behind in this new Zelda installment. But now that the game has been out for a full week, fans have found that quite the opposite is true. Nintendo has hidden multiple green outfits across the game, and today, I'll show you how to obtain each one. You can absolutely collect the green outfit in the game, but no one said it was going to be easy. In order to get the Cap of the Wild, Tunic of the Wild, and Trousers of the Wild, you're going to need to complete all 120 shrines found in the game. If you need any help completing that, I've linked a map down in the description below. Then, according to Reddit user Mitch3315 and several others, after completing every single shrine, three chests will appear behind the shrine in the Forgotten Temple. The hero set throws it all the way back to the very first Legend of Zelda costume design. In order to obtain this outfit, you'll need the 30th anniversary Legend of Zelda Link amiibo. This amiibo, like all other amiibo, can be scanned once a day to receive special items. This amiibo in particular has several possible daily drops, three of which are the cap of the hero, tunic of the hero, and trousers of the hero. Like the last set, the time set also requires an amiibo. This one requires the Ocarina of Time Link figure, which also has several daily drops, three of which are the Cap of Time, Tunic of Time, and Trousers of Time. This set brings back the white sleeves and legs that we all fell in love with in the Nintendo 64 classic Ocarina of Time. The Wind Set is also an Amiibo exclusive set, but unlike the last two, this set can be obtained through two different Amiibo. In order to get the Wind Set, you must scan the Wind Waker Link Amiibo or the Smash Bros. Toon Link Amiibo. This set contains the Cap of the Wind, Tunic of the Wind, and Trousers of the Wind. Our last Amiibo exclusive set is from Twilight Princess. The Super Smash Bros. Link Amiibo is required in order to obtain this set, which includes the Cap of Twilight, Tunic of Twilight, and Trousers of Twilight. You know the drill. One of my favorite available Link costumes is another callback to Ocarina of Time. In Breath of the Wild, you can become Dark Link without the help of any Amiibo, but it is a very long process. First, you must go to Akala Stable, where there's an NCP who wants to see a picture of the mysterious merchant, Kilton. In order to find Kilton, you must travel to the Zunakai Shrine on Skull Lake. On the left island of the skull-shaped lake, you will find Kilton. He tells you that he loves monsters and then disappears. Now, he will spawn behind several villages at night. If you go to Hateno Village after dusk, you can find him to trade. However, he does not use rupees. Rather, he trades with his own currency, Mon. You can get Mon by trading Kilton your monster parts. The Dark Hood, Dark Tunic, and Dark Trousers cost 1,999 Mon, 999 Mon, and 999 Mon respectively. So you'll probably want to take down several mini-bosses before trading with Kilton to get Dark Link. The Dark Link set will also give you a slight speed boost, making it slightly more valuable than the default time set. Clever fans have data mined the game to reveal several unused outfits. These include the Sky Set and the Fierce Deity Set. These are presumably attached to unreleased Skyward Sword and Fierce Deity amiibo figures, but only time will tell. Well, that's all the classic outfits that have been found so far. If anything is discovered in the coming weeks, I will update the description accordingly. You can also find links on more info to everything I covered in this video down below. I hope this video helps, and I'll see you next time.